Hello, and welcome back to Gumadi Coins and Banknotes, and today we are talking about the current currency situation in Turkey. So, in front of me I have some coins from Turkey, so the lowest denomination is the 5 kudus, and these are two different currencies, so we've got one at the top, which is the current currency in the top line, and in the bottom line, bottom line is the currency that suffered hyperinflation. So the highest value coin I have here is the 25,000. But they did have a 250,000 lira coin. So that's not pictured here because these ones are just for resale. They say a whole lot. And basically my favorite coins are the 500, 100, and I really like this 5,000. And the smaller 1,000, which I don't have here, same design as that, but it's pretty much about the size of that five kudos. So the kudos is equivalent to 100 per lira. And that's the current currency that we see up the top. So last year, 2023, uh, Turkey actually reduced the weight of its coins. It kept the diameter the same, and that is because in 2005, when it introduced the current lira, it was equivalent to one Australian dollar. So that's the actual value of the coin when it was introduced. And the exchange rate between these two was one million old lira equals one new lira. And currently in 2023, it has a value of about five cents. So you can see the value of this coin here has gone from one dollar to a five cent piece. That's a massive reduction. So that's one lira to one dollar to twenty lira to one dollar. So that is an indication of economic mismanagement. And a lot of this was precipitated by the central bank lowering interest rates, which caused uh, the currency to drop because the people lost confidence in the actual currency. And then they tried to get people to exchange gold and US dollars for the local currency. People would just go, no, because it, it was just losing value so much. It's just no point. You exchange an ounce of gold for lira and then... You know, a day or two later, it's probably half a quarter in value. So a lot of people go, no, we're not just not going to do that. So uh, who knows what's going to happen in the future of Turkish currency. So, sorry, the highest value I have here is this 100,000, not 25,000. I just looked at that. And this one's quite a boring coin. Local Turkish coins, they have the denomination on one side, so bin lira, 100,000 lira. And on the other side, it has a portrait of Kamal Ataturk. And the same with all these coins. This one's quite a nice coin. It's a uh, nickel brass type metal. And this one, so this one has a rose on it. And this is probably the better one because it does have flower on. This looks like a... Uh, probably a Chris Hanfield. And there are other ones with, um, so this 5000 has a tulip on it. It's a very, very nice coin. So the inflation in Turkey started to happen in the 1970s when the highest coin was 5 lira and the lowest coin was 1 kudos. And in the 1980s, pretty much by the end, the lowest coin was 1 lira and the highest coin was uh, 5,000 liras, so a bigger version of this coin. In the 90s, then the lowest coin was this 1,000 lira, up and to 100,000 lira, and then in the early 2000s, they used a 25, 50, 100,000, and 250,000 lira coin. So it's the only country that's actually issued coins of high value. So currently, this is a coin you'll get in circulation. This is probably equivalent to one cent, so you could probably get it as change. But as purchasing power, you're probably not really going to get it 
you'll probably struggle to actually get a one lira coin uh, equivalent of five cents and probably in turkey a five lira can uh, purchase quite a lot but i would say this this can actually purchase not as much as what other people think it can uh, but it's quite a nice coin by metal the design is actually quite nice uh, it's better than the first coins that issued in 2005 so i suspect in the future uh, the economy is just going to keep on being mismanaged is that turkey's eventually going to have to issue higher denomination coins probably the next will be a five lira and then a ten lira and then eventually they'll have to issue a 20 probably even 50 100 lira as inflation continues to take off because basically the government's just not going to do anything to actually help uh, the people turkish government doesn't really care about the people it cares about only lining their own pockets and they don't really need a stable currency for that they can just transfer whatever they actually get or receive payments in us dollars and then use that because they do have contacts that they can utilize to uh, transfer that into uh, precious metals as well as also transferring it into things that will earn them extra currency like they can run it through businesses uh, they can offshore it into other companies obviously they don't own but they probably have a share of it so that's basically how corruption in the panama papers shows this quite clearly that corruption is pretty endemic in every country and a lot of the tax laws are actually structured so the wealthy can actually avoid and hide or even just structure their wealth so they don't have to pay too much profit on it uh, and the workers generally they can't hide that so that's why we do pay income tax so it's mostly workers that pay income tax and even though companies and that do pay taxes it's ultimately everyone that actually pays the tax unless you run everything through a company and then you can actually avoid paid in tax because you're not really buying or selling anything very interesting so uh let me know what you think is going to happen to the turkish lira uh, this is a very interesting if you, and exciting time if you're a coin collector if you're someone in turkey using this for your livelihood uh, then obviously it's not a good time because you know your pay is probably not going up as much as the inflation is reducing the value of your currency anyway thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time